Welcome back, everybody, to Xenopolis, episode number four. Had another live stream, did a whole bunch more work, and the whole city is coming together nicely. These first three districts were kind of an experiment to see if the idea for the city would work. And so far, it seems to be working. As we scale up, we might run into problems. In fact, I guarantee we're going to run into problems. But aesthetically and functionally, I think it's working pretty good so far. So I did quite a bit of work on the park. It's, I would say it's mostly complete. I might come in at some point in the future and do another pass on the detailing. But all the trees are filled in. We've got a, a minor variety of different colors. It's, it's not too autumn-y. I realized I had made one autumn area with autumn colored trees here. Those are like maple guys. And way back here, I had uh, immediately gravitated to the, the autumn, whatever those type of trees are. Um, so I decided let's just do a little bit of minimal autumn and we'll try to have like a different seasonal look for different parts of the city. One of the trees I downloaded, if I can find it, was a snow covered city that we can hopefully put on the top of one of these mountains. I can't find it, but I got one. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. I have a snow-covered tree that we might put up on this mountain just to... Or this mountain. I'm not sure how far the buildable area is going to be once we unlock all the tiles. But if we can build stuff on this mountain or this mountain, then we will. We will uh, have some snow-covered stuff there. Maybe have a ski resort. I saw some assets on the workshop to do with ski resort stuff. Uh, we got a lot of parks in here. The cops, man, the cops just love driving up and down through this park because I, I guess these parks do have crime. It wouldn't be a, a mega city without a central park area that gets tons of crime at nighttime or, and during the daytime too. I'm sure there's a lot of shady drug deals going on. Um, these parks do get crime and that's usually where the cops are going. I bet he's going to turn in right here, this guy. No. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not really sure why he's driving through there, because there are more direct routes. Although, I guess for the cop... Yeah, the cop should be able to take this bus route underground. Let's just check really quick. I'm kind of... Whoa, okay. Uh, I actually wanted this. Traffic plus plus. Yes, emergency vehicles are allowed there. So, I'm not sure what they're thinking. Maybe they're just doing a joyride like their John McClane in Die Hard 3. So that is one major update. Three districts are mostly done. I do need to add some more leisure stuff because this whole section here is still in the red as far as leisure, that's a district. As far as leisure is concerned, and this side over on the right is not being affected. It's too far away from all these parks. So we're gonna add a little bit there. Another thing we did is uh, we got up briefly to enough people to do the milestone to unlock Nuclear power and cargo hubs for our uh, industrial areas. So we've got a little area here. There was just a small area, so I decided to dedicate this to the uh, the trash incineration process. And then on the other side is a lone nuclear power plant. At first, I was so excited about making this area with all the mushrooms growing up from the irradiated ground or whatever. There's like nuclear fallout or nuclear waste spilling everywhere. We got giant mutant mushrooms. They're all they're awesome. We got a stay puffed marshmallow man in the middle, and lo and behold, it turned it, it turned into a big tourist trap. So we have some parking lots here, and people just flock out here to see this statue. And there's even a few houses. I zoned these, and I didn't. I don't, I'm not sure when they actually moved in. Maybe when I was filming the intro montage stuff. But yeah, people are living here. Low density, just tiny little houses. There's room for many more solar, pa uh, solar, no, nuclear power plants. But uh, actually, that thing provides so much power. That is my only power plant. I got rid of everything else besides the incinerators, and I reduced my power budget down to 60%, and we are still well within the green. So it's going to be a while before we have a second, let alone a third or a fourth. So that's that. Uh, going forward, what I wanted to do next is I wanted to do a, a nicely designed industrial area, not specialized. So not, this area is all forestry, I think. I wanted to have unspecialized and connect to the trains and to the shipping harbor stuff. Uh, so we would have a train station, and I was thinking 
not that harbor, but this one, the cargo harbor. And then I noticed this thing I just unlocked is the cargo hub. So this thing is a cargo hub. It combines the functionality of a cargo harbor and cargo terminal, so ships and trains. Uh, and there's a synergy bonus because they're close to each other that the trucks going between them don't have to clog up your roads. So it reduces traffic. That sounds amazing. And I was playing around with locations. This was the area I wanted to put my industry, my unspecialized industry. Uh, but looking at this, besides the fact that the height is too high, I can definitely manipulate that. It says cannot connect to root. And it is too late for me to edit the roots on this map. In fact, it was hard to even see them because they weren't loading in properly. Once you, uh, when you edit a map that's already been created. So you can see here, it says, uh, well, it says it cannot connect to root either. So I don't even know where the roots are because they're not showing up and I couldn't find a menu option that, that showed that. But over here, yeah, okay, so here it connects to the root. So it does work in the city. We just have to find a spot where that's gonna work. And uh, right now I'm thinking that we might turn this area into our industrial area because that's the only area that I can really seem to connect to. So here's the next two milestones. We did this one. We're going to get another square to buy of two kilometers by two kilometers and we're gonna unlock the airport. So that's a 36,000 people. And then after that is 46,000. And once we get that, we can buy everything. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's the decision. Uh, we're gonna wait to do the unspecialized industry until we've hit that milestone and we can basically play around with the whole map that is going to be available to us and find the best spot. So until then, uh, what we're gonna do we are going to make, instead of unspecialized industry, we're gonna make more office areas. So we're gonna expand on this area kind of thing, and I'm gonna bulldoze some trees here. I think what I wanna do, I wanna have a few districts here, and this was before I realized this is where the only industry goes, but I wanna have kind of like a roundabout here with an interstate coming down underground, through here. Got a little bit of space here to connect that up. So there will be a an interstate coming down here and there will be a circle kind of thing and it will connect to a district there and there and there. And then this area here, this big circle, let me just go ahead, let's just start. I wonder why it orients it that way. Is that because, I guess there's kind of a grid. You can sort of see the textures. There's a square right here. I guess it's aligned to that. Seems like it. There's going to be a huge circular highway here, and this is going to be where we put all the huge milestones, the huge skyscrapers. It's going to be the tallest spot in terms of buildings in the game. So uh, I don't want to make that yet, because that's a little bit premature, but I do want to sort of just think about the shape. So I'm just going to delete the trees in a vaguely circle shape. This, uh, this bulldoze tool, by the way, is amazing. And people have been asking for me to post uh, post all of the assets I use and the mods and stuff. Um, there's no good way to do that in Steam, but what I will try to do is add some links to some of the uh, the bigger mods I use, like Traffic++, Plus Plus, Precision Engineering, Sun Shafts, uh, some of the atmospheric ones, like I've got the clouds turned off, I've, uh, I'm using a, a specific color filter I downloaded Things like that, uh, I'll try to put that in the description, and if I forget, remind me in the comments. But be nice about it, don't be, don't be mean about it, come on. I'm working a lot here. Uh, okay, so uh, there will be a big circle here, and I would like it to be centered with the highway, but maybe it won't be. Just looking at the train, now maybe, maybe we can just make it a little off-center. Maybe that'd be neat. Uh, oh, you know what, it'd be cool. Okay, so I'm having ideas here. I'm having ideas. I'm seeing a circle here and it's off center. We could just have this kind of bend. Instead of the highway going straight through, we could have it bend and uh, then also have it wrap around. Oh, very interesting. Anyway, all right, let's work on this part first though.
All right, so funny thing that happens, sometimes you have an image in your head and you think it's gonna look the most amazing thing you've ever made. And you start making it and you're like, man, that doesn't look that cool. It doesn't look at, at all what it looked like in my brain. And I start messing with it and I didn't like what I was doing. So you step away for a while. And then you come back and you're like, wait a second, I see something else there. And so I've gone from that uh, circle idea to more of a geometric pattern. I, I was looking at the lines in the middle of the circle that are all at 45 degrees. Uh, and so I started working with that. And so instead of doing what we're gonna do, we have a highway line coming in. I haven't built outbound yet, but the highway line, highway line splits off from these guys, combines underground, passes under this mountain right there, uh, comes out there and then it splits into four and it kind of looks like a guy, like a stick figure and he's holding a sign or something, or like a tennis racket, or I don't even know what that would be. Uh, maybe if we like had his head right here or something. Yeah, there's his head, and then um. Oh, okay. Yes, he's holding a giant intersection. That's not going to want to go there. And how expensive would that be? Seventy-five thousand. That's not that bad. But it's slope to sleep. We're getting a lot. Getting a lot of the slope to sleep. These are my templates. Anyway, okay, you, you get what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> I'm getting distracted here. Let's delete this. Go away. Oh, I gotta delete all these trees too? Ugh. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to make these three districts. They're gonna be one here, one here, and one here. We're gonna work with 45 degree angles and one way straights. So let's just uh, fiddle with this a bit. Let's continue using the six lane roads. And I want that, the tree lined one going down the middle, down to about here. And then let's come out to uh, maybe, I would like it. Let's just see what we have there. Okay, so that's a pretty good use of the space. Like a so. Uh, and then this one will probably do just the same thing is fine. Good. Okay, so um, when you've got a one-way road and then it splits left and right, look what we have. No traffic lights. It's the best thing ever. Uh, but that's only that's only one step. And let's actually make these kind of end at the same. This one is seems kind of rectangular. So let's have it be actually rectangular. Oh, wait a second. I thought I... Okay, there we go. All right, so no traffic lights yet, which is awesome. Let's go to the two lanes and let's get a one laner that doesn't have that, but let's use these grassy things. Uh, so if I do this, no traffic lights. What does that say there? That's the speed limit. That's not a stop sign. And then this is, uh, it's in the shade, but I think it says 40. Yeah, it says 40. Okay, so the speed limit. Okay, cool. So I want the traffic coming down a decent ways. Let's just measure with this thing. So that's two and then four. Uh, okay, so let's have it be right there. I think I measured that right. Is that two? Yes, okay, lovely. So if we do that, should be. No traffic lights. What about when the two merge? We will have a traffic light here. I'm wondering if we should just make them all the six lane one ways. Uh, I guess there's not going to be that much space. I mean, we will use some of this. It's not just, just going to be this little peninsula. And then I would like to, what if I uh, pull a, a one-way road out there? Do we have an intersection now? I mean, obviously an intersection, but do we have traffic lights? No traffic lights, obviously, because there was no traffic lights there. Okay, so um, we did that. But let's delete that. Let's just do a little bit of terrain manipulation here. I just want it smoothed, so... Um, I want that value. And just extend that up just a little bit. We're really, I mean, this takes a lot of dirt <laughs> to extend the peninsula like this. But this is, this is actually the kind of stuff like city builders and like when people are making cities, and when I say people, like it's just one person or like two people. When the, the huge groups of people that make cities, make cities, they do this kind of thing. Look up, uh, look up the original landmass of something like Manhattan. It has changed radically over the years, so I, I like using the terrain tool a bit. Okay, so that will go right to there, but I actually want to kind of 
go out another section here. So we'll have the big roads in the middle and then these smaller ones. And I'm going to uh, reverse the direction of that, but I wanted to... Yeah, okay, let's uh, fiddle with this a bit. Let's enhance, zoom and enhance, magnify. Okay, good, and then zooming in, it all looks very flat. I, I really don't like the little dimples we've been getting around the edges of the terrain, so I'd like to avoid those if we can. Okay, and then do this, and then I'm gonna make a, uh, basically just a curve. And then reverse these directions. Okay, I like that. Not so bad. Let's turn that off. Uh, but it, this is the kind of thing, I go through a lot of iterations when I'm doing roads like this. I, I'm not sure how the highway is going to exit. In fact, you know what just occurred to me? Because we're using one-way roads, let's say we have a, uh, a highway out like right. Let me just use this as a marker to remind myself. So there's gonna be a highway out going there. We could have this one-way road feed into that. And then this guy, cause he's got one-way roads, he could feed into that as well. They could share. And then this one can share. And that one can share. Oh, I like that idea. And then, so then we would have um, a highway going out, which would be right there. And then these guys would meet up and there would have to be one here. And obviously I'm just I'm just sketching. It's not gonna look like this. I'm just trying to leave markers to remind myself. Uh, and then this one would link up like that and like that. So we had one highway coming in that splits into four. One, two, three, no, into three. I can count, into three. Uh, and then there would be four coming back and it looked kind of like an octopus. We could call this octopus estates. <laughs> or like each one of these, maybe each one of these will be um, some kind of octopus or squid. So let me just uh, change the names here. Octopus, squid, uh, we'll, we'll get better names like actual uh, species and whatnot. But let me just name these this just so I remember, otherwise I'll forget. Uh, okay, and this one, Underhill District, that's boring. You're gonna be a cuttlefish, that's right. Okay, sweet. Um, let's just leave that there for now though. That's gonna take a lot of tinkering. One thing we really need to do, oh, I need to rehook up Mr. Rail Line here. Let's do that quickly. Then we're gonna build a few parks because uh, we haven't really finished off the... Here, let's just do this. I'm gonna eyeball most of this because, well, that's how I've been doing the rails for the most part. Uh, then we're gonna add some parks because our leisure quotient is really not up to snuff. Okay, grab a straighty. Uh, let's, this one is gonna come straight. Let's. Bring him back down to the road, like that, and then bring him up here as far as possible, so that I know that uh, we're going parallel to the highway, except for where we budge out like that. Okay, and then we can do this guy and hold Alt, get the intersect, but by him, okay, that's good enough. We don't have any uh, really train stuff going on yet, but that will need to be rehooked up again. So looking at Mr. Leisure, ooh, lots of red. Yeah, and red around there and even down here. So let's just go ahead and pause it. I've got plenty of money. And let's see, for, let's see, for this area right here, this is all residential. So let's see, I got a skate park. It does kind of, no, it does not. It does not fit in there. Okay, that doesn't fit. Let's move on. I don't want to use the amusement parks. Don't want to use Pingu. We already used Stay Puffed. What is this? Small parking garage. That fits pretty nicely, actually. All right, uh, that's technically a leisure site, but uh, it does fit into the context of the city. It adds a parking garage. Let's add one more over here. Let's unpause it so we get it to update, though. Omsk State Music Theater, a musical theater from Omsk, Russia. Found this on the workshop. Okay, yeah, that had a pretty good effect. What is this right here on this corner? Let's put this guy, I'm just trying to look where I might have pedestrian paths. It's going behind there. 
What is this? Mediocre, mediocre man cave. High density commercial building. Mm, I think we do want this kind of thing over here, though. Maybe if I... Okay, let's get rid of you. What about now? Space op... Oh, slope to slate is at least one of the problems. I like it. I like it being here, though. Let's do that. Smiley faces everywhere. Okay, and then let's fix this if we can. Just uh, something like this, I guess. There we go. Yeah, check that out. That's pretty neat. It's even got uh, the Cyrillic alphabet there on the <laughs> textures. It's pretty cool. And in the back, there's a little, I guess, a little cafe patio thing. Okay, let's update. Okay, not too bad. Let's add, uh, let's look for one that's fairly small to finish off this area. And over time, as the area gets denser, the buildings level up. There's more people here. We might need to come back here and look at these things again. Two by two flower bed park. That is a pretty good... Actually, you know what? What is this little thing here? I thought I'd meant not to zone stuff like that. And that is just like perfection. Let's make sure that this is unzoned. Can't see what's under there, but yeah, stuff like that should not be zoned. Because it's too small to be useful. Tiny little parks. Okay, and I'm kind of... I'm assuming this is probably going to update. Let's move on over here. What can we find that we've got? So all the amusement park stuff, I'm going to save for an amusement park area. So let's say the maze. Uh, let's not put there. Uh, Nero's Imperial Castle. That's a pretty good place for office space, huh? Or actually, maybe we should save that for the casino area. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. Cherry Blossom Park. Restaurant Terrace. How big is this? I've got some dead space here where, again, there was just uh, the terrain that just didn't uh, give me big zonable area, like right there. How about if we put one right there? Okay. That's awesome. I had a, in fact, a parking garage in this area would actually fit in quite well. So let's add you right there. Okay, what else we got? City Park, 6x6. Six six. That's a walkway. Ding, did ding, 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 ding. Picnic, plaza with picnic tables. Okay. How big are you? Uh, okay, let, maybe we can find somewhere back here. Or what about right there? Lovely. Oh, yes. Very nice. I love hearing the ding, 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 ding. Okay, we've got a big events tent. I'll save that for like a beach or something like that. Tennis court is not that big. We could put it... Oh, look at that. Will it fit right here? Love it. You gotta have a tennis court in your office area, right? So we'll have two. And scrolling through, I think we're almost to the end. Skate park. Uh, I think we need something over in this direction. What is this right here? That's the fire station. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought that looked like something important. And we've got a skyscraper restaurant plaza. Oh, no, no. Yeah. All right, I could have just moved it. I could have just moved it. Oh, why can't it be? Okay, I'm trying to make it snap there, but it won't. Okay, so it's got to be there. That's fine. Whatever. Large tennis club. That's probably too big. To put over here, we'll probably just put small stuff. These big ones, like this uh, this tennis court thing, I will probably have to like place that in advance before I do any zoning in an area to make sure it just works. Modern Art Plaza. Oh, I like that. How big is it? Not so bad. Okay, let's put it over here. And let's not interrupt the highway there. And then let's double, double check our zoning. Pretty good. I don't want to zone that. I'll put, I'll come back at some point and put trees and stuff in here to make this look a little bit less sterile, just like a big white concrete area. Okay, let's see an update. And we're growing again as a city. 
Oh, we need to add something around here. Okay, one last thing. This is the last one. What's this? Farm park. Okay, that's too rural. This is for the industrial area stockpiles. Uh, roundabout tower. That's for a roundabout. Then I've got all of this canal stuff, which we're going to have to design a whole district to make use of this stuff. Building must be placed roadside. I don't actually know how it works. I was kind of curious because it looked neat. I saw a bunch of these on the uh, the workshop. Actually, let's come over here. You know what? We could uh, we could do this here. Let me just see what happens. Do they connect? Oh, they connect with a little. Oh, that oh that's cool. They connect with a little bridge. All right, that's really neat. We might have to do that over here, and if not here, definitely somewhere else. I really like those. Uh, but we need something to put right here, and it shouldn't be too big. This thing should be in the center of some area. Uh, what else we got? I've got these advertisement things that go along the wall, or along the road. Large tennis club. That's a bit too big. Roller coasters? No. You will have your time, roller coaster. How big is the swim club? Too big. What is this? Sunken City Plaza. Okay, you don't want a plaza on the outside area here. Tennis club, too big. Skate park. Yeah, let's put the skate park. Bam! And did it break my pathing? It did. Okay, sweet. I think that's a pretty good amount of work. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. We're not done yet. There, now we're done. Okay, uh, we've got a lot of these buildings cropping up. I thought um, if I added a whole bunch of assets to my folder, then we would have a bigger diversity. We do have a pretty good diversity of buildings. These two are built right next to each other. My, what I might do eventually when I'm really being finicky about stuff is uh, like come in and delete one if they, if they grow next to each other and wait for something else to grow in. Uh, but that's pretty good. Let's see, I'm still making a profit, 9000 a month. And we still actually need to add some more here. That's not quite enough. But it's a good start. Power's doing... Oh, actually, I need to up the power just a little bit, but the power is doing good. Let's just kick it up to, I don't know, 67. Water's doing good. Trash is doing good. Education's doing good. Health is doing good. Everything's going great. All right, that's about it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. Leave your feedback, your comments, your ideas, your suggestions. What happened during your day? What you had for lunch? In the comments below. See you later. Bye-bye.